Hi, um, my name is Shanice and I'm a student uh, studying business. I'm actually curious about LGBT, which refers to the community of lesbians, gays, uh, bisexual and transsexuals. So what Islam's point of view of this uh, issue? Because uh, I used to believe that we have to accept people regardless of their sexual orientation. So after I study some information about Islam, I know that Islam rejects this. So I want to know further about this issue. Thank you. Sisters ask the question of what is the Islamic view on homosexuals, on gays and lesbians. The ruling is that Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 81, do you prefer men in preference to women? That means telling to men that do you prefer men rather than women? Homosexuality is prohibited in Islam. Regarding what about people who are homosexual? The article that came a few years back, homosexuality is genetic. And when this article came, people asked me in the question and session, if homosexuality is genetic, then who's to blame? The person is not to blame. It is Almighty God, correct? Later on, it was found that this is totally false. And the person who propounded this, he himself was a homosexual. What today psychologists tell us, that when a person goes beyond the limit, he keeps on wanting things which is unnatural. So today you see in the Western world, there is obscenity. Like my son said, the woman's talk of liberalization is nothing but a disguised form of exploitation of body, deprivation of a soul, and degradation of honor. The Western society claiming to uplift the woman had degraded her to concubine, to mistresses and society butterflies which are hidden behind the colorful screen of art and culture. In today's society, you have advertisement. In a motorbike advertisement, invariably there's a woman. Now, how many women ride motorcycles? Percentage by way, but you see a woman in that, why? And I was told of a very famous ad of BMW. I was told, in front of the BMW car, a woman is standing in a bikini, and the ad reads, test drive her now. Who, the girl or the car? So they're selling their daughters, they are selling their mothers, and they're saying that women are liberated. What happens is that when you go beyond limits, all religions say that if you want to have a relationship, you marry. Correct? According to American statistics, America doesn't agree in Islam. Islam says you can have more than one wife, that's a different question. In America, the American statistics tell us an average American, before he settles down with a permanent life partner, he has eight different sexual partners. Some may be having two, ten, twenty. Average is eight. Eight different sexual partners before they settle down with one. So they are disregarding the law of the Creator. Do you know, according to American statistics, every 12th person you meet has committed incest. Incest means having sexual relationship, brother and sister, son and mother, father and daughter. It's absolutely nonsense. Because they get so open, etc., they deviate from the natural path, so they want things which are different. So when they get so much used to it, having heterosexuality, they start homosexuality. It is not genetic, it is based on the thing which you do unnatural things. Psychologically, you want something different than you go to homosexuality. So if you stop this deviation from the path which is given guidance in the Quran and the other religions, what do you realize? This will stop. And I remember I'd been to Canada in 1996 first time. A man kissing a man. And Canada has legalized marriage of gays. Now, all this is coming because they're deviating from the truth. And today, psychologists tell us that a person who has no extramarital sex enjoys the best married life. You deviate from your normal thing, and this is what happens. So that's the reason if you follow the commandment of Almighty God, all these things will not happen. Therefore, in Islam, homosexuality, gays, lesbianism, everything is prohibited. Hope that answers the question.